here's just some of those drills where again same group of kids here just now they're just collecting and turning up ice so just again high high repetition without pressure to start off with just so they get the feel of it and they learn the biomechanics of getting that top hand up pinching and getting that puck squeezed against the boards and then from there move into more team focused drills where there's a little bit of pressure in this one um uh, the gray player here is kind of in the way but you'll see a red player down on the back wall uh, the gray player on the boards to the right is going to be the checker he's going to put a puck down to the back wall and then go try to disrupt the blue player right behind him is going to be the shooter so we're just recreating that low play situation the player on the back wall has to be efficient in their pickup and their uh their their information gathering with pre-scans and making a play so we'll just let it run it's just continuous drill player in the red gets his eyes up makes a play through the checker into the slot shooter now goes down becomes the passer on the other side checkers after him makes a back wall play to the slot and this one's good because uh, the checker here actually goes and gets a disrupt. So this is full on. We're asking the checkers to get a check here to get a full disrupt, good stick, and breaks it up. So it forces them to work a little bit harder. Um, and here's just a, a, a second progression of that one. It's the exact same drill, except now you have a checker coming from the opposite side. So you've got your, your three players on this side, exactly the same as the last drill. But now a checker is coming from the other side just to race in and try to meet the shooter in the slot. So it's a two on two. So you can see the shooter going to the net, checker coming from the other side gets in there and gets a disrupt. So this forces the efficiency of it. If they try to, you know, if, if they try to be slow with it or they try to take it and go behind the net or up the wall and it's not an urgent play, you're not going to see success with it. But as soon as they start, you know, feeling like, OK, let's practice efficiency in a game. We can slow it down if we want to, but let's be efficient in practice and try to really be deliberate in, in making quick plays. So that one and then here's some translatables. Um, uh, just teams I've worked with in the last couple of years here where, you know, after going through these drills, seeing a little bit of success in the game. So this one, you can see the uh, player in white 91 gets inside position and goes right to the slot for a goal. Nice back wall pass there. One more look at it. 91 cuts in, gets into that slot area. Back wall player puts it in there. Basically the exact same. You can see everybody closing into that slot area, but she's just urgent and gets inside positioning for a goal. So basically the same as 